guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season two, episode six of Lucifer. This time, the title of the episode is Monster. And I am here, ready and excited for a new episode of Lucifer. You guys know how much I love this show, and I've been loving sharing my reactions with all of you. And you know, I want I really, really wanted to do a Lucifer reaction today. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys uh, continue supporting for more. Uh, thank you to everyone who is supporting my reactions, both on YouTube and on Patreon. Hope you guys continue enjoying, you know, um, and as, as long as I get you guys' support, I will continue doing more reaction videos for Lucifer, for sure. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys continue supporting, like I just said, like three times already. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, previous episode with the, uh, I think it was Uriel, right? He was here and a lot of crazy things happen. So we'll see what happens on this new episode. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a thumbs up if you love Lucifer. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, the link as always will be in the description down below. And for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season to episode six of Lucifer. <laughs> Wait, this is zombie? But your life of wedded bliss. Is, is this a zombie themed wedding? Bless, I guess. It's just begin. She's gorgeous even as a freaking zombie. Okay, lesbian. <gasps> Oh, everybody thinks he's like... So everybody thought it was just part of the... Of the wedding. I love it. He's so gorgeous. Like, he's spiraling. Oh, hello! Woo! Come to join the party! No, no, I'm here to check on you. Lucifer, patients often avoid sessions precisely when they need it the most. When the yeah. feelings are too painful. Linda's so You're precious. She's incredible hot, by the way. But, like, I love that she actually tried to reach out. She really does need help. Oh. It's a sex ring. What is she doing? Maze, this is not appropriate for kids. Oh, bye. Hey, baby, get off of that. Yeah, yeah, please, please do. <laughs> Can you let me and mommy talk for a minute, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <Seriously? laughs> a sex swing? I know, right? You want to hop on? Oh, bitch, don't get me started. Because the second you guys look at look at her face, by the way. But like, if you get me started on shipping them, I will. I will. And I know it's not going to end end well for me. Okay, because I know that Lucifer and her are going to like, you know, because it's kind of obvious, right? That they're going to end up together or I don't know. But so don't get me started on this. Don't. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, my head is already going there. Okay, if we're going to live together, we need to have some house rule. <laughs> oh, but that's not our home. <laughs> I love Maze. Honestly, she's living her life. In the best way she can, so just like bless her. You but she's a mom. You're gonna have you know? to rethink how you look. I mean, Mace did know. Well, I don't know if she like fully understands what it is to live with a child, you know. But I mean, the common area should have should be you know kid safe, you know, and a sex ring. Come on. <laughs> you look like hell. <laughs> Like <laughs> I wish. You look like a homeless magician. <laughs> well, that is true, you know, he looks... Hello, bridesmaids. It was Peggy. She's oh, in love with Peggy. More interesting, go on. She was so disgustingly perfect. I oh. hated it. How could anyone compare? Is she in love? I thought she was going to say, no, I actually in love with Peggy. And then she just comes up with like, she's just too perfect. She's in love. Let's be real. So remove the competition. Got it. Okay. Lucifer. I, I <laughs> hey. I'm just being thorough. <laughs> Call me. Easy. Oh my God. 
He really is aspiring. Spirally. So but that's the guy. guitar in that case. Yeah. Oh, so you think our musician might be the shoot? It's you. How are you doing? I do believe that she cares for them, you know. Tell your mom. Lucifer. <gasps> oh my god! There. Shoot her on the roof, get them in the truck, secure the scene. Uh, Lucifer, you might. Know. Yeah, bloody hell indeed. Be careful, be careful. Yeah. What did you do to the babysitter? <laughs> She's the one who didn't knock. I had no time to hide my toys. Okay, yes, look, I have a favor to ask you. That's Lucifer's thing. I know, but I'll never find a sitter this late. And trick or treating is really important to Trixie Maze. Will you please take her for me? That is so sure. sweet. I'll take your offspring for a while. <laughs> well, she's not a dog, but thank you. Yeah. Yeah, she'll re hang up. <laughs> I love it. Oh. At least I didn't have to use this. You guys, are you gonna take your side in this right now? Is that what you're doing? Well, I got the files, didn't I? I did what I had to do. Oh, please don't give me that crap. You never do what you have to do, Lucifer. You only ever uh, do what you want to. That is not true. There's a lot of things that I didn't want to do. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, don't. Because if don't I only ever did what started. I wanted to do, then right now I'd do this. <gasps> Cute. She's the president of Mars. Yes! Duh! Duh! <laughs> Duh. President of Mars! <laughs> she has some... What the hell does she have to do her head? <laughs> Pick up the pace! <laughs> I love this! <laughs> Isn't this fun? It really is! Turn around. Wait, what were you gonna do? I'm ready. Ooh! Cool! <laughs> so much candy. Oh, that's so adorable. Wait, is that like Mace's real face or something? Because that was scary as hell. I'm done trying to please someone who isn't even here. Oh, fuck. I think little by little, She's getting them on her side. Holy hell. Shoot me! <gasps> oh, God. Lucifer, what on earth are you doing? Well, go on, man! What are you waiting for? <laughs> I love that the way is like, me right now, just please. behind Lucifer, you. what are you doing? Uh-oh, police are here. Gonna have to hurry up, Mr. Shooter, sir. Oh, God. Oh, Seriously, God. I mean, I'm standing right here. Just tell me what's going on. I'm here for you, okay? I... Oh, this is so I just sweet. I can't understand. You can't understand, Detective. Aww. Talk to her before it eats you alive. Oh, that was so painful to watch because she truly cares for him, you know? Oh, that's just so adorable. That is just so adorable. Oh! I might ship in them. I am. I'm glad God you changed it. your mind. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't keep track of all these elaborate metaphors. But it's not a metaphor, Doctor. You need to take me seriously. You need to believe what I'm saying. Otherwise, you'll never understand. Yeah. I'm a monster. Is he gonna I'm show? Completely honest. Is he gonna show him? Are you sure? Yes! Show her yes, his I'm face? Sure. That's what all of these sessions, our entire relationship is all about. Oh, God. Is he gonna let it out? Oh! Oh! <gasps> yeah, you've been treating the devil! Oh, my God! Holy hell, I didn't thought he was gonna reveal himself. Oh my god, she's... Oh my god. Linda. Oh my god. 
And I love those shots between the, like, the light hitting her, and then darkness, and the light, and then darkness. HOLY HELL! Okay guys, so that was the end of Season 2, Episode 6 of Lucifer. And holy mother of God. Really, no. I was not, like, at all expecting for him to reveal himself. You know, but time and time again, you know, especially if you go to therapy, you know, if you do truly want to get better, I mean, what is the point of going, paying for therapy, and especially making that emotional effort to go if you're not going to be completely honest, if you're not going to be completely yourself. And as of now, even though Lucifer has said, I'm the devil, I do this, I do that, he has allowed Linda to live in the fantasy of the, this is just a metaphor, you know, he's like, okay, whatever, you know, but he, she follows what I say, whatever, but he has allowed her to believe that he is this character, you know? He has allowed her to do that because in reality, it's not like he wants to show himself to the world, you know? And with Uriel's death and at the hands of, of, of Lucifer and everything that he means and, you know, all of this, um, Lucifer... Uh, well, Linda felt that Lucifer needed to be true, you know, honest. That enough of the metaphors, just, you know, this time I cannot help you through a metaphor. And Lucifer decides to reveal himself, you know. And the look of shock in Linda's, on Linda's face is just like, whether if you believe in God or not, if you believe in the devil or not, you cannot deny that you, like, you see someone, like, someone's face, like, changing in front of you. What the hell are you gonna do? Like, and the look of shocking her face and fear and panicked and, like, the fact that she just froze there on her seat, like, just saying, like, analyzing the fact that she has been, you know, giving therapy to the devil, that she has also slept with the devil. It's like what it's going on, you know, her expression at the end, it was just magnificent, you know, the, 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 um, the, she played it so well, because you could, you could see, you know, all the emotions through her face, and she was just like, it was intense, and like, I fell for Lucifer, because time and time again, we have here from him saying that, this role was something that it was put on him, that he is nothing but, you know, punishing people. He's not the one who kills people. He's not the one who forces people to do bad things. You know, humans, we do that all on our, on our own, and he's just there to punish the evil uh, of, you know, of Earth, you know. Um, so he's just there to do that. But, like, the definition we have of the devil is to be feared. You know, so when he sees her face and like she's in shock and she is scared and she's like all of it, you know, he just walks away. And like, it is so sad because this is supposed to be a safe place for him. And at that moment, he is or oh, he felt rejected, you know, and it's just so crazy. Uh, of course, during this entire episode, Lucifer is lashing out of course i mean of course he's lashing out you know he killed his brother and as we know now it's the first person that he kills and he kills not no other than his own brother with the dagger that it doesn't really just kill you but like kills your soul and like there is nothing left from you when you're killed by that blade you know um, so of course he feels guilty and he feels, you know, out of place and he's spiraling and all of it. I mean, he, he started doing a lot of like good things to save this woman, but I do believe that he doesn't care about the woman and that at that moment he just wanted to be punished, you know, 
he saw a random shooter and he was like, just shoot me, you know? He wants to feel some type of pain because he believes he deserves to be punished, you know? Um, whether if he does or doesn't, you know, it's up to debate, I guess. But um, he wanted to protect uh, um, Chloe, you know? And in order to protect Chloe and protect his mom, he had to do that, you know? And, and like, the fact that we see him feeling bad about it and just, like, all of that is just really shocking and the the actor Tom is his name right um he just did an amazing job he does always an amazing job at letting us see you know this this duality of the character of the very charming Lucifer but also the very broken soul that he is you know so that was amazing uh then Amanidiel and his mom um I just feel like you know there are I feel like there is some truth to what she said and and that she wants to be there for Amenadiel and Lucifer and every single one of her children but at the same time she has an end game you know which is like go to he go to heaven and like punish god and like take over and i don't know what the hell she's going to do but i feel like she wants that you know and she does have her powers, though, you know, and she's not, she hasn't said that to Amenadiel or Lucifer, so we'll see how that works. Um, but she did offer help to Amenadiel, and I think that she needs them by her side at the end of the day. And in a way, slowly, and by the fact that she might care for them, she um, is getting them to her side, you know, manipulating them a little bit, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, I still don't fully trust her, you know, even though she has done nothing wrong, there is still something, you know, there's little things that make me doubt her true intentions, you know, I don't know, um, then you have Mace and Trixie, and, and well, and Chloe, who are now living together, and, you know, Chloe is like, oh, maybe this was a mistake, but then, you know, the most adorable scene plays out at the end of the episode. You know, she... I think she reveals part of herself, you know, of her face to Trixie. And Trixie is nothing but welcoming to it, you know? Um, and I think that she likes that. Maze likes it. Like, the fact that she stood there, like, give her more candy. And, like, maybe some cash. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. But I love it, that. And I love that, you know... Trixie is so good to everyone, you know, and, like, she's so precious, and I love that, you know. Um, and I love it, Maze, you know, going, like, taking her hand and then, you know, cuddling, watching TV, and then Chloe arriving, like, a family. Honestly, I could ship it. I could ship it. I could. Are, are there people out there who ship those two? Because I do. I, I, I kind of do. But then I feel like it's never going to happen. So I'm like, do you want to save yourself the trouble of shipping them and then like, like never make them canon or anything? So do I want to put myself in that position? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, reaction. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. I love the episode and I cannot wait to watch another one. So stay tuned for that. Uh, uh, but yeah, for now, that's about it. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon to watch the extended version. Uh, Uncle reactions are always posted first there. And yeah, continue supporting for more and I will continue doing more reaction videos for more TV shows and all the things that we love. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Lucifer. That's it. Mwah. Bye guys.